Hello Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your love reading for April 2024. So as always, please only take what is resonating specifically for you, because not all of these messages are necessarily going to be just for you, okay? Right, so what is going on for Capricorn? Right, so you've got Mercury energy, the planet of communication, the messenger of the gods with Mercury. This could be yearning for further education. This could be improving on your own knowledge, looking for reasons behind something. Okay, this is ideas that you're wanting to be heard, ideas that you're wanting to take action on. We do currently have Mercury in retrograde for the next month, so there could be problems with communication or unforeseen problems with ideas that you currently have, unforeseen issues with certain plans that you have. You then have Neptune. So Neptune is the planet of the imagination, okay? Your dreams. This is a very mystical planet. This is all about sacrifices and obligations. This could also be your psychic experiences as well. Neptune is the ruler of the waters. So it's something to do with how you're feeling. Maybe there is a desire here to communicate how you're feeling or someone has that desire to communicate how they're feeling towards you. But at the moment, their communications is being somewhat restricted. Okay, you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Virgo or a Pisces, or you could have those placements somewhere in your own chart. You could also be dealing with another Capricorn or this is just your energy. You could have Capricorn in your Neptune or your Mercury also. Okay, so let's find out what else is going on for you. What's going on in Capricorn's love energies, please? What's going on in Capricorn's love energies? Capricorn's love energies. Miss Capricorn, thank you. You have the lady that's coming out in your energy here, Capricorn. This is all about a change in your priorities or a change in someone else's priorities. This is about taking a broader outlook on a situation. This is someone who is wanting to take action on some kind of opportunity that has presented itself to them. Now, when I say somebody, I could be referring to you or I could be referring to your intended. So take it as it resonates, okay? This is all about what you value. It says what you value first and last should not be in your looking glass. This is someone searching for a purpose beyond the physical, searching for a purpose beyond what they look like, beyond what their bank balance says. Okay. You then have a silver sixpence, which is good fortune and prosperity. This is all about good luck and fortune that's coming in, Capricorn. This could be you. This could be someone else. The tankard, something to drown your sorrows in, but someone's still not happy. Someone here is very prosperous in the physical, in the material, but they're still not happy. They're still searching for a purpose here. They feel that something is missing in their life. Okay, they could be self-medicating. This is a crutch for someone's coping mechanisms. This is someone not currently coping with their current situation and they're seeking out a monetary, a momentary, not monetary, a momentary escape. Someone's realizing that money, while it can contribute to having more options, it doesn't necessarily make someone completely happy because clearly someone does have money. They are materially very, very wealthy, but they're not fulfilled. They're not happy. They're still searching. Someone's saying there's got to be more to life than just this. The star healing energy. This is a card of guidance. It says in the darkest hour, a steady light will guide you will guide your footsteps through the night. 
It's very hermit type energy. This is all about guidance in a dark place. So someone at this point in time is in a bit of a dark place, depressed, succumbing to depression, not able to make peace with their feelings, still searching for that thing that's going to fill that internal void okay this is someone reaching out for help reaching out for assistance they're looking for some kind of comfort this could be spiritual guidance here also that is coming in for someone who is in this kind of energy the card of intent with the poppet someone's feeling very vulnerable someone's feeling very fragile Again, someone could be you, could be your intended. This is all about selfless love, protection and nurture. Someone feels that they were missing the protection that they were needing when perhaps when they were younger, would that be in the poppet? This is all about inner child work that is still needing to be done. And there you will find your star. There you will find your missing pieces or their missing pieces. The wedding cake, the card of ideals. This is all about your dreams coming true or someone's dreams coming true, but someone's still feeling unsatisfied with their dreams that have already come true, okay? This is all about happy ever after, perfection attained, but something isn't quite perfect for another. They're still seeking perfection. Perfection is what you make it with the wedding cake. What else? For Capricorn, please. Thank you. A card of recollection with the spectre. Someone's past is haunting them here with the spectre, the ghost energy. This is an echo from the past. It can also indicate a visitation, a spiritual visitation, if you will. Uh, a long delayed family reunion is also possibly on the cards here maybe someone's depression is because of something to do with their family maybe their family is at odds currently going through a disagreement we have a letter which is communication so there is communication that's coming in capricorn this is news received and an answer then sent okay clear communication with energy from the past. This could indicate that someone maybe from your past is about to communicate with you. Someone who has sunken into this depression because they're missing you deeply. This could be someone who chose a career over love and now they're regretting it. This is someone who's wanting a bit of a do-over they're still searching for those answers and for the purpose and they believe that their purpose is with you the garden the card of growth fertility this one is all about temptation and a fall from grace so someone had a lot of abundance they had a lot of opportunities for growth and fertility they could have made their life any way that they wanted but through mistakes it turns out that their life went off in a different direction they had harmony and order or they were supposed to go with harmony and order but they succumbed to some kind of temptation here this can also indicate a loss of innocence. Someone's having a fall from grace because they chose monetary wealth over love. The Vardo, the cart, the traveler, the card of passage. This is all about a transition, troubles being left behind, the road, the pathway, the passageway is being cleared. There are opportunities here that are coming in. Says that 
someone can restore balance, harmony and order in their lives. We're seeing that this is part of someone's journey towards becoming a better person, a more fulfilled and complete person. Someone's realizing that they themselves can only complete themselves and that doesn't come from an external source with the Vardo. The rose and the thorns, this is a card of compromise. This is understandings being reached. This can be an unlikely relationship. It also indicates hope in adversities. The rose and the thorns. Something looked very, very beautiful, but also felt incredibly dangerous. Someone assumed that to choose love would be the dangerous path, and now they wish to take a U-turn. We have the Minotaur, which is the monster, the monster within. Someone feeling uncomfortable in their own skin with the Minotaur. This is an obstacle to overcome. It can indicate a destructive force, self-sabotage, an inner foe. Someone here was their own worst enemy. Who is in Capricorn's energy, please? Why are they in Capricorn's energy? What actions will they take towards Capricorn? And what advice do you have for Capricorn Collective, please? Who is in Capricorn's love energies? Oh. The Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This is very swift action. This is someone who is taking action on their ideas. They're trying to craft a perfect life and they believe that that is going to be with you here, Capricorn. You have the Empress and the Emperor. This is someone who believes that you two belong together. They're taking control, they're taking action towards you. This is someone who is wanting to build and grow their love towards you. This is someone who is wanting to build a life with you also. This is someone who for the longest time was stuck in their head. They felt trapped by their own desires here. And now it seems to be that they are going to take on the challenge This is someone who is too slow to move. They knew what they wanted when they saw it, but they failed to take action. And that failure to take action has been their downfall. They have been judging themselves very, very harshly. And now they're making moves towards you. This is someone who is feeling spiritually guided to take this action. At this point, Capricorn, you could be dealing with literally any Zodiac because you've got them all coming out here, okay? So the Zodiac information is not going to be useful for you at all because you literally have got them all. Why are they showing up? The Queen of Wands reversed and the King of Swords off balance. This is someone who has a flair for the dramatic, I feel. This can also indicate some kind of deceit or maybe even self-doubt. This is someone who is coming from an aggressive energy, maybe even a jealous energy. And I'm feeling strongly a jealous one. So perhaps this individual felt threatened Maybe you were speaking to someone else. Maybe they saw you with someone else and they felt threatened and jealous. King of Swords off balance. They've had time now to think things through and to look at the situation from all different perspectives. They're trying to articulate how they feel, but they struggle to do so. So they've been plotting. <laughs> now plotting that's a word that can be positive or negative. This individual, I feel, can be quite manipulative. 
But now it looks to me like they're going to be using their skills in manipulations for good rather than for bad. This could also be that you felt manipulated by this person. Again, just take it as it resonates. This is someone who made a ruthless decision and now they wish to go back on it. Their actions told you the ace of coins in the upright position. They're saying that now is the right time for them to take action on their ideas. They're wanting to offer you something that is real, that is tangible. An ace of swords also, a truth, a crystal clear truth. Seems to be that they're going to be speaking their mind to help them to solve their problems here. This is someone who is holding on tightly to you, Capricorn, with the Four of Coins. This is an individual who is trying to regain stability and control. Their actions towards you, they might well come across as being perhaps a little bit too controlling. Maybe their controlling, jealous behavior was a red flag for you. And this is the person who is coming back in. What is the advice for Capricorn here, please? Thank you. Your advice is the King of Cups in reverse. This is to be careful with your emotions, Capricorn. You may not be able to trust this individual. So until you know for certain, then you would be best keeping your emotions hidden. The lovers off balance. Yeah. Instability within a love connection or a partnership. This is frustration. This is a failure to complete some kind of test. This is avoiding making a choice. This is a fear of commitment. This is on again, off again energies. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Your advice is to keep your eye on your goals and to enjoy every moment. Your advice is to be courageous and remain excited about the future possibilities that are in store for you. This is all about discovering new things, flirting with new ideas, with new directions in life. Capricorn, your advice is coming out that it's probably unwise to take this person back. Because it doesn't feel to me that they have passed a certain test. What else? Capricorn, please. Capricorn's love energies, please. I'm making changes for the better. What else for Capricorn? I feel terrible for hurting you. This person is trying to alleviate their own guilty conscience for hurting you, for choosing material things over love. They're still emotionally unavailable. Or perhaps you had to make yourself emotionally unavailable to this person. What else for Capricorn? <laughs> Drop and give me Zen. Pay the piper and move on. Someone needs to pay the piper and move on. Someone has to pay the price of the con of their actions, pay the price of what they did. 
they have to suck it up. Someone made a bad decision here, and now they have to face the consequences. Today, I choose hope, yeah. And I don't need to control life. I trust in magic and miracles. So don't lose the love of life here, Capricorn. Love is coming in for you. It's not with this person. It's not with this person. Hmm. So that is what I have for you, Capricorn. I just genuinely hope that that reading has been helpful. As always, you only take what resonates for you and you leave the rest. Cross watchers, feel free to flip the energies around, okay? If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading, then I am taking bookings on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. Don't forget to go check out all of your other signs and the daily reads as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.